How's it going guys and girls? This is Ketchup and Mustard here once again and we have something very very special for you guys. We were fortunate enough that we were able to go down to Bandai Namco UK very recently and we got hands on with Soul Calibur 6 and the most recently playable build. So in this video it's going to be Mitsurugi and Killick. Warning up front, we're definitely not the world's greatest Soul Calibur players by any stretch of the imagination, but that said, we were able to sort of really try the game out, have a lot of fun with it, and most importantly, for this video, we're going to sit down and really talk about what we found and our first impressions with the game, and also the new features. You know, this game has got some new things, they've been explained here and there, but this is definitely our take on things. Yeah, exactly. So, um, to start things off, we, we did a couple of, but I believe it was best of threes, just a couple of, you know, three games. Yeah, I think so. Sets, really. And uh, we ended up doing Keelik and Mitsugi to start off with, and we'll go to the next one after that. Because this was the build that had six playable characters. Um, had everyone that's currently announced apart from Ivy and Zasalamel, who obviously were just announced today, as of when this video got uploaded. But this is basically going to be a video of our initial gameplay, um, us kind of figuring stuff out on the go, showing off some of the new mechanics uh, as and when we kind of learned about them. Because uh, obviously, we're, we're definitely not competitive Soul Calibur players. All of them kind of knowledge and muscle memory of Soul Calibur kind of comes from Soul Calibur 2, 4, and then a bit of 5. So uh, definitely nothing too in-depth, but we definitely enjoyed the series quite a lot. So first and foremost, what we just saw there was one of the unique additions to this game. By the way, must get wrecked and also stabbed to absolute death right there. But in Soul Calibur, if, if you knock someone out and you don't beat the crap out of them, <laughs> or even, you're not playing it properly. So fundamentally, uh, speed-wise, the game seemed really fast to me. Uh, movement felt really crisp. And it really felt like, uh, as almost like the uninitiated, those that we played Soul Calibur 4 and 5 casually back in the day, this game just kind of fundamentally felt a little bit faster in terms of movement. Um, but the moves that we remember are all there. This is one of those big things, Critical Edge, the game's sort of big take on the super moves. Obviously, they existed in previous games, but in this game, it takes one of your bars of meter. As you can see in the top middle of the screen, um, we both have no bars yet. That's signified by the zeros. But if you have one of those, you can cash out on a Critical Edge. And you can get two bars of meter total, and that will just ever, ever, you know, keep going on and keep building. One big thing we both noticed was meter build in this game is incredibly slow. It will be about a round or two before you even build maybe one or two bars. Yeah, exactly. But um, it seems to retain. I believe it was Soul Calibur Five mechanic that was if you were on the, the sort of match point round against yourself, the game will basically give you a round, a, a bar of meter to effectively, I suppose, get you back into the fight. But um, especially in these videos, you really only see us using bar of meters on uh, the the critical edge or the soul charge. So obviously, both of those will cost one bar each. And because during the critical edges come out like so fast, like they had like absurdly fast startup. I'm not sure if that was like. A mechanic thing or perhaps just because this is like a very early build but we're only really using them for like whiff punishing or if you get something that launches and then just confirming into that but uh you'll see that a few times through this video and obviously there's that keelix special long ass range of the star and i think i yeah i go flying in a really weird direction i'm pretty sure i did like a forward attack right as that happened so that's why the gravity kind of misbehaved uh, now i will say um the uh obviously the the classic soul caliber round replay of like the end of every round it looks like it actually focuses on um, one or both or like a single player at a time. It seems to struggle to track at the moment, but hopefully they can refine that and it could be quite nice for like spectator or replay purposes. That could be yeah, cool. well the replay seems a little bit dodgy and I think that's just early build days. You can actually swap between two characters and um, one thing that I didn't really touch on was this was our absolute first time playing oh, yeah, the game. Yeah. Like this match right here that we're playing, we had not played the game before we went head to head right now. So what you're seeing at the moment is we knew what the buttons did, but that's kind of where it ended. And I've got to say, shout outs to Bandai Namco UK. And of course, here's an example of, again, using that instant critical edge to combo off a launch. Of course, that's going to be the most basic stuff ever. I have no doubt you can combo into it much more optimally down the line. That taunt was a complete accident. I did not mean to taunt, but I'm pretty sure it might have cost me the round here. And there we go. I popped the soul okay, charge. Now, this, this is something big. Soul charge is, um, it was performed by pressing uh, the sort of the, the away direction as well as whatever your critical edge button is. Um, on, <laughs> I think it's, it's just the three attack buttons um, normally, but on controller it was R2 was the default for it. So that seems to like put you in like a buffed state where your normal attacks get chip damage. I'm not sure if that's like a general thing. I know when Keelik activates his, he actually loses health, I guess health drains, but he gets access to like a really powerful critical edge. Yeah, we're going to see, sure see like Keelik's one. Or if that's like a general thing right now. 
Yeah, we're going to see the Soul Charge from Killick in the next set. Uh, at this time, I actually don't think you knew how to do it, right? This was one of those things no, where no, no. you were doing some of Killick's moves from previous games. This is another new feature. Now, it, it's basically, this is performed, again, with another button that you can input. And it, it pretty much functions as, like, a defensive parry. It does absorb a fair few hits, but it's not really a free get-off-me tool. Um, I'll, I'll try and explain it again if we go into it, but essentially, that new system is almost also, like a game of... That, Oh yeah, you're welcome. All day, all day, every Literally, day. The first time match with Soul Calibur Six we've ever had, and it into the bag. And, and, well, you, you will see that be quite consistent. But yes, there's this new mechanic where um, it, it's pretty much where the, the red slashes will come from. And again, I'll point it out when we see it in the next match, because I think we do it again. It's I mean, a new we mechanic that... We use that a bit, but because it's new, we don't use it, like, often. But what it does is it puts you in a game of essentially rock, paper, scissors, where you can actually use your guard or your three attack buttons to do a certain attack while you're in that mode. Now, I'm sure there's actually going to be a bit more to it. This is the kind of mechanic that I think we're going to need a little bit of lab time, right I think. There. But that's yeah, the where, one. Where your sword is kind of going white and then the attack is red. That, um, I believe it's... It kind of it, it parries highs and lows, and it also breaks throws. But obviously, it's hella with punish one. I think you oh, can yeah. sidestep it. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can probably parry it too. Or there you I go, that's the one. To see, I believe what's, what's the mechanic called? Guard impact, but this is the one. Either way, I think it's called Reversal Edge is the official name. Reversal Edge, I think, is, is what it's called. I'll keep an eye on the um, the words at the top, but also get ring out. Um, do I get ring out here? I think I do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely smashed. And the I reverse think it might be like a Second or so ahead of you. Oh yeah, I think you are. I think you definitely are. Pause it for a second and then unpause. <laughs> and, no, no, and then, no, 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 and I'll then, go, I'll go for the strats. Pause. Unpause. All right, we're on the same right. wavelength. We're on the same I just wavelength. Got a combo. Let's get a fat combo. Yeah, yeah. You just do fat. Well. World's worst combo in the world. <laughs> Plus, uh, we don't. Four hit combo. Plus, I'm pretty sure in Soul Calibur you can air control, and I wasn't doing it at all because, admittedly, yeah, I yeah. forgot you could even do it. Um, but yeah, so I mean, where were we really? I think it comes down to the fact that movement-wise, if you've played Soul Calibur and you've played Killick or Mitsurugi, you're going to recognise a lot of these moves. Like much like Tekken, it's super legacy. Okay, well, the thing is, like, case in point, like, I really cannot stress enough. This is literally the first time either of us had actually like hands to a controller on this game and we're like we're doing moves that these characters have had for years like i'm doing helix um you know all, all the kicks i used to use all like the, the, the kind of like specific staff attacks like obviously uh, i'm not going to use the notations of them because i can't remember off my off my heart but i know what the attacks are and they're all still there and they all work what? in a similar fashion to what we you know used to use and i think that's something that soul Calibur almost has like the tekken effect whereas if you've played these characters in other iterations of the franchise you are going to feel right at home within like a few minutes of just picking up a controller and doing some cool stuff but similar to tekken i think it's quite important that some of these new mechanics like the reversal reversal edge um not the new features of critical edge because of course i know that's been in games previously um but soul charge as well it's all really easy to do and right there kind of thought maybe i could try and combo into into critical edge there but obviously I okay couldn't. now there again case in point i get the um or was it the the 2-2-B, I think it is? Um, and then just uh, immediately seeing it hit, just go for the critical critical edge. And there you go. It's really useful. Um, it does give you a massive uh, cash out of damage. Now, we don't really go into it too much in this, but we have seen a lot of people, uh, the more competent players at the event, there were some you know good UK players in, in attendance. They were opting to use a lot more of their bar on the sole charge rather than the critical edge. They would critical edge if it would end around. But the utility you get of, of the soul charge seems really important. And again, we'll, we'll go into that um, also get in dumped. the next series. I, 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 I didn't really have an answer kick. for that. I didn't really have an answer for that hop kick right there. And I don't even think I had an answer for it by the end of the night. That was the uh, the bane of my existence. And, I, and you, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see a little bit down the line. Kaliuga, um, show me the way. But yeah, so also even, even the win I'm going to keep interrupting you with unimportant trash. I, you've been doing it on the regular, mate. This is this is why doing it in team speak is difficult. But it's our only method. But it's it's a clean, clean method. But speaking of clean, the graphics in this oh, game, yeah. right? I got I got to say, man, the thing about the graphics in this game is it kind of reminds me of Tekken 7, where before Tekken 7 had the FR update, you know, where they put Akuma in and the graphics were a little bit different, where the game ended up looking utterly gorgeous. This game looks this good now. And this is very clearly a super, super early build. Because, of course, yeah. you know, we did see the, the release of Ivy and uh, Zasalamel. I, I will probably mispronounce his name forever, but the dude with the scythe. Um, even that build looks that better. <laughs> that build looks better than this build, you know. I'm super excited to uh, maybe get hands on okay, with this now, game again. Actually, that right there um, is something that I wanted to point out. So... I'm not sure if it's like if your launch is counter hit, but when you launch someone in the air, it will almost like zoom in and slow down as you launch them. That was consistently throwing me off my timing to follow up. Because sometimes it doesn't and sometimes it does. I think it's if the launch counter hits, but it was like, I imagine if Tekken, if you hit a hop kick and it's counter hit, 
and then the whole game just slows down and zooms in on them. It, it kept throwing me off over and over again. That's going to take some getting used to. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but there are a couple of small little things, like a few little tidbits in this game. So um, fundamentally, um, I've got another bar of meter. I can't remember what I, what I spend it on here. Probably um, some trash. <laughs> without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, there's the launch. And again, there's the slowdown of the launch that you talked about. Um, but what on the time subject, are you on? I'm on 10.51. Wait, what? I'm, I'm on the 34 second round timer. 34. Okay, let me know when your timer passes 28 seconds, alright? Alright, 28. Alright, okay, I just launched your ass. Alright, I, I, I think so. I don't know. Right, you guys really, I've lost timing. Slash, slash. Yeah, alright, we're on the same slash. wavelength now. Oh, kick. hop kick, hop kick. <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay, 10 minutes in, we're finally synced up properly. Oh, right, so. And then, that, that was also random as hell. No, I actually wasn't. Every time I, every, every time, every time I did that, every time I did that two-hit string on hit, you would press buttons. And I'm pretty sure the answer for that is because um, I was watching some old-school Soul Calibur 5 footage right now, and whenever Mitsurugi players did that string, they would go into a stance. I don't know how to do that, and I'm sure you're supposed to, <laughs> because I wasn't, and I felt like I was paying the ultimate price. Oh, is this, is this the round? Oh, this yeah, is the yeah. round! Oh, oh no! So no, ring out just a thing. You just got wrecked. Ring outs are still a thing. Um, obviously, I didn't know this was going to happen, but oh, in the drink, see you later, Mitsurugi. And uh, that's a round done. But again, going to kind of show when it's match point down, the game does give you a bar of meter. Now, um, I was actually, of all people, actually, I was watching Aris um, talk about his impressions with this game, and he specifically mentioned that um, he likes the fact that you had more uses for your meter in this. Like the fact that you have Soul Charge, which again, we might see a little bit, if not, we definitely see it in the next series. Soul Charge seems really important because of the instant activation, because of the fact that it kind of acts like get off me tool, because on hit, it resets back to like a mid screen neutral almost, and it gives you massive utility. That obviously being a new mechanic, something that didn't exist before, like here we go, bam, Soul Charge pushes us back to that mid screen. And Mitsurugi, like the chip damage he gets while he's in this mode is insane. Like, really, really insane. And this, uh, I believe this might have been curtains for me. I didn't want to get, get hit. Donked again. I mean, I, I really tried. <laughs> I, I, was, I was so banking on that knocking you in the water. That's why I did it. You'll I notice think... that I'm, like, putting myself... Oh. <laughs> I mean, don't feel bad, because I donked, like, everyone with that throughout the evening. And I right. think it was blocked a single time. I was just, like, one step ahead with my donk. Now, this was the second uh, set that we played, and I figured I'd, I'd try out Gro. You know, he's a character that obviously we know a little bit about him because of the footage that's been captured prior. I thought I'd give him a test myself. He was really fun to play. Really, really, really fun to play. He still has a good ranged game, it seems. Like, he has got some good reach on his buttons. Um, and his Soul Charge, in particular, was really, really interesting. The thing about Soul Charge is that it does give different characters different utility. And I think we're going to be talking about this mode quite a lot because obviously yeah. being new to this game, it is a very interesting mechanic. And he gets access to basically teleports and like oh. insane mobility. I think Grow is kind of a good example of what they can do with newer newer ideas, right? Newer design choices, considering that he is a new character to the franchise. And I think between the videos we just watched, like the Mitsuriga Kilik and this, there's about, what, let's say half hour, 45 minutes. So I'm using a few new strings. Um, I'm, uh, I think I'm going to be making use of some of the, uh, some, some stunning attacks in this. And I think you'll be doing the same. Hey, there you go. I, I figured out that was like quite a consistent follow-up to any launcher. But again, I'm not quite sure if that's a true combo or if you can like air control out of it. You probably can. N knowing my really bad defense, you could probably get out of quite a few of these. Oh, and uh, we learned how to th uh, tech throws. That that's kind of important. Oh, yeah. We did learn how to tech throws right here. But again, Grow, um, really, really decent reach. And he's got a specific button which seemed really effective. His, his while rising K. Um, it was super super fast and off certain buttons because it was so fast it had that that weird hit animation where it kind of almost looked like you couldn't really press buttons after it and that move kind of reminded me of Jack 7 I think you know what button I'm talking about the one that Saint uh -huh. uses all the time you know what I mean oh there we go now, that, that really was a good string that I was going to quite a lot though it was the um it was the, the back kick into uh, I think I think it was back I think it was back KB I think I know it's not the right notation because it uses numbers, but it's the away kick into uh, your B. Listen to us heathens getting it all wrong. But I there know. we go. We did, Here we comes the reverse ledge again. Uh, as you so saw right, me. as you saw right there, though, I crouched under it. So it really is that game of rock paper scissors and get wrecked, mate. I can't, I, I can't believe it. Rock paper scissors is just literally just, me sidestepping and <sighs> just walking off the edge like a muppet. I mean, I tried. I really tried not to. I was really feeling it, and then yeah, I got, I got put airborne. Also, shout outs to the characters getting salty when they get knocked off the edge. Oh yeah, they do. Um, they have they have specific audio lines for when they get ring outed. 
that's probably not a word, but it is now. <laughs> Ring out. If, if you KO Ring out. <laughs> well, well, Mitsurugi, for those that may have listened, he, he shouts, fight properly. <laughs> and Ogro, I think he says, this won't happen again. And uh, it actually does happen more than once in this set. And here we go. This is Killick's Soul Charge. Look at his health. I pop mine. Oh, wait a minute. Nah, this is too anime. We just have to watch this. So my health is dropping quite significantly just for having <laughs> this mode in. You know yeah, but, yeah, but just anime. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, good god. Hey, and it's worth losing all the health for how cool this looks. And uh, for, for those that are going to be observant, this is actually a different critical edge um, as well. The critical edge is different depending on whether he was in that mode or not. I don't know whether that's character specific. Um, I don't think it's the same for Grow. I think Grow's might have been similar, but it depends on how memory serves me. I don't think I did it in this set, but... Killick, his damage output really does get insane uh, when he's in that mode it felt oh, um, I, I will just say quickly i know that the um the game sound the game audio keeps dipping um that's definitely not uh us here that that's was a, a build thing yeah also it's, it's also uh, replays too i think replays make the game go a little bit quieter yeah. too as you can see when you're almost getting guard broken your health will start flashing red again um that doesn't mean danger of sorts it just means you can't block too much because you know you're going to get guard crushed eventually which opens up a free hit and there's that while rising K. You blocked it, obviously, but you can see the speed of that button. It's really, really good. Nice it definitely whip. seems important to have some kind of button you can press at close range that's really quick. And even if it doesn't do a lot of damage, that just, like, gets you out there. Also, this was you learning that it was a grab. When yeah. I was in, uh, <laughs> soul charge. So you just ran up to me in soul charge, and I was like, man, I'm going to block this. What a stupid thing to do for him to just run in. And uh, I didn't know that it was a command grab. And, yep, I paid the ultimate price. So, um... I think it's worth pointing out, it, it costs a bottle, you need a bar to go into Soul Charge. Pressing the Super button, or, or doing, a, doing a Super while you're in Soul Charge, uses the rest of your Soul Charge time as the Super. So you can spend a bar on Soul Charge, it starts the whole, you know, ticking down of the Super Meter. It doesn't matter how much less you have of that, you can still do a Super for the, at the cost of the rest of it. I actually, so I, you, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, so I don't know if it affects the damage, I don't know if it affects News like, to me. Else. But there you go, even you're learning stuff here, how about that? There we go, you learn something new every day, mate. But it's that's... my reason for a living! <laughs> using a super before it's it's finished. But uh, here we go. That low is so deceptive. I know, Gee. like, I really feel like Gro had some decent buttons. Like, as someone who, of course, I'm not very good at the game at all, it, it still felt like he had, like, decent range buttons at least. But uh, one thing I didn't, we didn't mention right there, um, if you KO somebody with your critical edge, um, if it KOs them, you actually get a slightly different cinematic at the end, and they say something different. Um, there are a few little variables in this game, and I think the sound is a huge part of this. Uh, those of you that may be watching, the music is fantastic in this game, like really, really excellent. Um, and these little things, you know, the fact that characters will say something different if they get KO'd by a ring out. The fact that um, they have different KO sounds if they're in their soul charge, for example. Or, if you KO someone with a critical edge, um, again, you get a slightly different end to the round. It's just little details that I think will make it, um, I don't know, just give it a little extra bit of polish, I think. Especially for a build this early, too. Man, I was... this, I mean, again, the return of the big fiery unblockables. The oh yeah. Special. I was trying to block. I was trying to react to those lows, by the way, but I'm just really bad. I think I started blocking it eventually. <laughs> just trying to ring me out. I'll take that rather than a ring out. I'll, I'll, I'll lose the round anyway. I don't care. Brahma, Brahma. I actually don't know what he says there. I'm just I think he says it. It sounds like it. It just means that throw not make sense gravity-wise. Nah, if you nah. threw a stick at someone, like a spear, would it bounce back like that? I don't think so. Mate, well, you're not the master of Ling Chang Subo. That's a good point. The Kali that... Yuga shows him the way. Show me the way! Oh! That button looked pretty good. Yeah. I think it was the um, uh, the forward forward or the... Oh, I don't even know the annotation. <laughs> also, the fact that I'm still not reacting to that low makes me really sad. Well, you're just bad, mate. It's fine. Oh, big boy Speaking launch. Speaking of the man getting Duh. knocked around and kicked. Yes. You're on the guard break mode. I was oh, really trying to break it. Yeah, I know. I'm sure you can, you can like reflect that too. Oh yeah. I, I think you. I don't even know why I did that. I think I whiffed a button, and when I thought you were gonna press a button, I did it. But as you can see, it's obviously gross. Yeah. It worked though. Oh, the get off me tool. I'm pretty sure I still win this. Yeah. I go into a stance right there. That's a, a, a wow, man. Spoilers. 
I think I think that stance that he can go into, I believe it's your B plus K. Um, he goes into like where he separates the weapon, he puts it into two pieces, and then he gets uh, multiple different attacks off that mode. The, the stance that Gro goes into seems really, really useful. Um, like he has essentially a really far advancing low slice, uh, a really quick little kick. That really starts to explode once Gro goes into his soul charge. Because he gets the same moves, but access to a teleport off it. And of course he tried to reverse ledge me there, but I think I broke it somehow. So basically, the way, the way reverse ledge works is uh, oh, I also that, that's, yeah, that's going to beat my free. The way yeah. it works is um, you can hold it down and charge it. When you fully charge it, it guard breaks and goes into the rock paper scissors. If you let go early, um, it's blockable. But obviously, while holding it, you can absorb hits and effectively parry. So you're it's supposed to like hold it until you absorb something and then let go. But I obviously let go of it way too early. Of course. It was one of, one of the only real guard impacts we did, because again, this was quite early in the night and we didn't really understand how that worked yet. I know later in the day we got a bit more uh, comfortable with it. Oh, speaking of which, get yeah. wrecked! Into get guard wrecked. break too, that was really clean. Mm. Also, it was Angry Killick, and another another bag, another bag. Yes, Angry Killick has a really cool death sound. Unfortunately, the replay can't quite reflect it, because again, early build and all that. Um, and f it's probably worth mentioning again there that you, you, you do get the option in a replay to choose uh, who you focus on. Rocked Which is quite away, interesting, says the man in his pajamas. I know. That was thanks to you. Now there was a bit of a break, so we went into this this um, third match after a few minutes. Obviously, we we'd met a couple of people at the event, and we were having a few chats, and then came back to this final match. Um, but I've just cut it out. Obviously, if you're there is a moment in this that I I hope happens in this match, and if it does, I'm not gonna let you live it down. Oh, there we go. Uh, but, three hits, true combo. <laughs> sick. The, the best combo ever. Sick three hits, a triple hitting combo right there. Oh. Another guy. To, look at this guy feeling himself, doing all these cheap, cheap well, parries. Well, I realised that I wasn't doing them before, and the few minutes that we had apart while we were meeting a few people at the event actually really made me remember. Hang on a minute, I'm not using guard impact at all. And uh, I, I was at this point, I didn't even know how to do it. I was like, I well, I know of the mechanic, but I don't know it, so I'm just gonna not do it for now. But of course, but you Gro, didn't know that, so of course. Of course, Gro has um, a, a basic launch off his horizontal as well, or his B. Um, I guess is the more accurate term. I tried to go for the reversal edge there, but again, it looked like I got beat out almost. So when I started to run out of life, I was like, mm, let's run in that button there. I can't I'm even sure that's the animation. That exact same thing happened in the last game, I'm sure. Well, I think it might be 4-4 four, four or 6-6 six, six or forward-forward, uh, and then it's his um, A plus B, I'm pretty sure, was that button. It's like an oh, advancing stun? double hit. Yeah. I got bodied in this round by that, and, and only that. Yeah, I got yeah. smashed. I got smashed in this round. Oh, actually, I wish I took a, a deeper look at how the stun mechanic works. You see it says stun there. That attack seems to consistently cause the stun, and I'm not sure exactly what that means. I know I couldn't get a launcher off it, so I think it means you get a free hit, but not not everything will have its like normal on-hit properties. Uh, that wasn't a punish, by the way, guys, on that button. I, th I think I just pressed a button afterwards. Stick combo, because you're not controlling in the air, and I'm like, well, no. whack. I'm just getting bodies, because I don't you know what I'm doing. because I'm just so much better than you. I know, right? Look at me, look at me feeling myself. I'm walking to the corner, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna do something goofy here. Well, I thought if I got close enough, you would do a button that could get absorbed on my reverse ledge, but you didn't bite. Uh, both got bar, though. We'll see what happens. I, I go for the knockdown and soul charge. I think you see a little bit more of his mobility here. Yeah, there it is. It comes off his stance. That's the thing, it comes off that his, his crazy stance that you can do the moves and then teleport off them. And of course, as you can see, that chip damage as well. Uh, it's not just exclusive to some of these characters. I think I get bodied here, by the way. I'm fairly positive. Yep, this is the bit. Here we go. Donk. Donk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how I don't even know how to how to begin describing that. I don't know, like, but I'm, I'm glad we watched the replay, that's all I'm I saying. Hit you with the hop, and then you kind what? of like you kind of like <laughs> fell off. Oh good god. I don't want them to change that though. I think ring outs for me, like I've always found them so hype. I really ring outs enjoy are ring the outs. best and worst thing about Soul. Well, it's your fault for being so close to it, right? Like, don't put yourself in that situation. Oh, I tried to critical edge oh, and you stun beat me. Again. Well, I tried to critical edge there and you beat me out of the start oh, touch. Oh, stun so. again! Oh my Look at god! You press some buttons like a numpty. I know. I got the launch and then because I'd already used my critical edge on it getting beat out, I had nothing to defend with. Oh, oh god! And then you used it to guarantee, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. God broke into raw super. That's the true shit. Bam! My bloodlust. Oh my god! That does so much oh, damage. That does. That does hurt a lot, actually. Silence, demons. <laughs> well, oh yeah, by the way, I was pressing buttons because by whiffing normals you build bar. And I was like, right, Did now you? it's my time to play. Oh yeah, that's why I was doing it. What? Full screen teleport, mate. I was whiffing those uh, A's because I knew you were too far away. And by whiffing buttons, you get access to meter as well. And get wrecked. And that was a pretty nice wrecked. comeback. Oh. oh my god, I forgot about that. If you KO with a launch, 
they fly way higher than they normally do. That's why Kill It gets sent into orbit right here. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, like, is it a Soul Calibur ring out if you don't follow them off the edge? Oh no, definitely not. You have to teabag and then run off with them. That's the that's the way. God, I love all these strings. It's just super satisfying. Well, I'm sure I should. I'm sure I could guard impact some of those. I just didn't know how. Oh, almost certainly. I just think it's really meaty. You know what I mean? Yeah, so oh, there you beefy go. hits. I said that, that that button's not punishable. I think you tried to punish it there too. Oh, there's the stun. Now you've got a bar and I don't. I'm pretty sure this this was not good. That's oh, with punish. With punish. Yep, the classic. And it kind of goes back to how fast those critical edges start up. Like it's almost completely instant. And that's the same for Critical Edge and the um, Soul Charge. They're both instant startup. Now, question is, are you going to run into the Donk again? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, I'm also trying really hard not to call it Critical Art because they both have Critical in the name. My word. I'm, like, fighting for my life here. Oh, I whiff! <laughs> Look at my throw text. I'm the, unbeatable. The sick defense. Ten seconds. Oh yeah, timeout, of course! I think, actually, I never realised the time, yeah. I get the stun. Right here, I think I could have killed you, but I did the extra hit. I definitely think I could have killed you with Ring out there, and that would have been mine, but I'm bad. And that was your set. You take them both in dominant fashion. So, basically... I'll take that. <laughs> there we go, GG's. Um, so essentially, uh, this was um, really us just kind of sitting down and talking about what we watched and what we've seen and everything else, and experienced with the game. That said, as there's not a lot of gameplay out there for those that uh, really want to watch and analyse, those that are of course far better at Soul Calibur than we are, that can pick up gameplay and pick it apart and recognise buttons and normals and everything else, for those people that want to just analyse the gameplay, after this goes live, we will be uploading both of these best of threes, completely raw and unedited, for you guys to just watch yourselves and analyse and uh, pick up on some bits that no doubt we would have missed, right? That's going to be our gift to you, is giving you this unedited footage um, to really do whatever you want with. Uh, thank you very much to Bandai Namco UK again for letting us get hands on with this game. And once the three videos are up, we actually have a final treat. For you guys two really um really really good uk players for this game as i mentioned at the beginning of this video were in attendance here and they had some really decent gameplay especially for early build soul Calibur 6 um and fortunately they were kind enough to let us record a few of their matches so we're going to upload those as well so you guys get to see a little so you'll watch our trashy gameplay oh yeah and then watch much better game i'm to, very uh, to cleanse the palette i'm very deliberately uploading our gameplay first do you know what i mean like, there's no there's no way we're going to be able to top that but, but um, if 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 you, you, you for some reason don't get your Soul Calibur 6 fix after watching <laughs> Soul uh, Calibur 6 fix. <laughs> I know that that, that, took, uh, that was way harder to say than I anticipated. Um, if if you're still craving some more Soul Calibur 6 action, um, History Behind the Warrior was also in attendance. Um, some of you guys that, that follow Mortal Kombat and Justice 2 YouTube will also be aware of who History Behind the Warrior is. He's become a really good friend of ours and we, we tend to go a lot of these events together and he was in attendance too and got his own share of gameplay. Some of it was ours, some of it was his, some of it was, you know, through other people playing, but he will be uploading quite a lot of cool stuff as well on his channel, so we'll make sure to uh, send you over to his, his channel as well if you guys want to watch some more gameplay. Well, that said, thank you very much for watching, folks. We'll see you next time, and take care. Kali Yuga, show me the way.